What's up, everybody? It's D Brown Shanghai here, back again today with some more my team. I don't even know what to call these videos. My team intuitions, or it's not tips and tricks. I don't know, but, but just listen, just listen, because I'm right. I know I'm right on this one. I know I'm right. All right. So as I said a couple of days, wow, I said that with a list. Anyway, as I said a couple of days ago, All Star Weekend is coming up, and I know we're gonna get some cards. I, it just it popped into my head. I was like, yo, I know who they're going to drop. One of the cards that they will be dropping, I'm certain of it. I am absolutely certain of it. If they don't, I'll I'll do, I'll do eat a chili pepper or something. Matter of fact, comment in the, in the comments down below. Tell me what you guys want me to do if I'm wrong about this. And I'll choose one of the things. Which, I, But I'm not going to have to do it. Like You can just comment something crazy. Eat a chili pepper. Uh, record myself asking somebody a girl for their number something just something, something crazy cuz I don't care you can you can say whatever cuz I'm right but anyway I've been talking forever and I ain't even said what I'm right about yet but they gonna drop an Iverson bro and I know this because they've been dropping little hints and stuff first first of all one of the challenges right now one of the moments challenges is from one of Allen Iverson's MVP all-star game all-star games is which one is, is it the 2001 game or Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me check a. Let me take a quick little look. See, the 2001 All Star Game, when Allen Iverson put up 25 points in All Star Game and won the All Star MVP. They are either gonna give us that. Either that Iverson will be available during during like the All Star Weekend Madness, or the 2005 MVP Iverson where he won the MVP of the All Star Game. One of those are gonna be available. Not and it's not just because because of that. They already gave they gave us a rookie Iverson card this year. We've been trying to get a rookie Iverson card forever, and they dropped the 50 point Iverson with the Nuggets and the Hall of, the Hall of Fame badges. I don't know why, but I feel like the Hall of Fame badges is that's what kind of tips it tips it over for me. I'm I'm certain that they're gonna drop at least one more Iverson this year because they've been dropping cards with Hall of Fame cards with Hall of Fame badges. Was I saying Hall of Fame cards that whole time? Yeah, but they've been dropping cards with Hall of Fame badges all year. And none of the Iverson cards that they've dropped so far has Hall of Fame ankle breaker. And you know they're going to give him Hall of Fame ankle breaker on something. So they're not done releasing Iverson cards yet. So this, whatever card they release, they're going to they gonna do it. They got to. They have no choice. They got to drop one of the MVP Iversons. And when they do it, he's going to have a Hall of Fame ankle breaker. And I'm, I'm thinking, I'm guessing it's going to be the 2001 one because of the challenge. And in 2005, when he won the MVP, he only had 15 points. So this one makes a lot more sense. And this is the year that he took the the Sixers to the finals and the year that he won the MVP. Well, last year they did drop an MVP Iverson card, but they didn't have Hall of Fame badges last year. And for those wondering, yes, this is a 2015 Russell Westbrook All-Star jersey, which I can't grab. Yeah, this is that fire. <laughs> But one thing I do find weird about Allen Iverson cards and stuff, last year when they dropped the MVP Iverson, he was literally going for 30K. This year, you can't get that rookie Iverson card for anything less than 30K. You can't get him. I saw one on the market on the auction house today for 38K. I almost bought it because I want one so bad. That, as a matter of fact, that's what made me think of the video. I was like, yo, what, what Iverson going for? And then when I, all this dust is flying around my room, I need a freaking maid or something. Girlfriend. Oh no, that sounds sexist. Let's get back to the video because I sound stupid as fuck. I was in the auction house and I saw a rookie Iverson was going for 38k, and I was like, bro, I might need a cop. I was gonna get him, but then I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like the light bulb just went off. It was just a little light bulb went off, and it's like, don't do it because they gonna give you an Iverson All Star card. As I said before, in the comments, leave what you want me to do. If they don't drop an Iverson card, I will do some kind of challenge or, or forfeit. And I'll choose one from out the comments. I won't choose like an easy one. I'll choose one that's interesting. And I'll do it in the intro of like whatever my next video is. And yeah, so just make sure y'all do that. Actually leave some, some challenges because I want to see what y'all would say. Like I said, I'm not going to have to do it because they're going to drop the Iverson card. The third eye never lies, people. The third eye... D. Brown Shimhan that comes from, you know, TN, the third eye, is the ability to see potential. Sometimes I have premonitions of the future, you know, but whatever. <sighs> but 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And be sure to go check out my video that I dropped yesterday, NBA 2K17 Sports Science, Is Isaiah Thomas the Next Allen Iverson? People seem to really like that video. I feel like it's one of my better sports sciences so far. I don't know. Maybe it's because, I don't know. You be the judge. Go go check it out. I'll have a link on the screen. Uh, yeah, and until next time, I'm B. Brown Shanghai. And I'm up out of here. I'm so fucking weird.